Conditional probability is a probability that we're looking at when we are given one outcome already has occurred and we're trying to find another outcome, okay? So imagine you are running in a race, okay? And you can say, okay, find the probability you won gold giving you place in the top three, okay? The probability of that event is actually going to be higher than you placing first overall without knowing that you're in the top three because you could have placed in any sort of realm with that conditional statement, what you're really doing is sort of narrowing down the window that you're looking at. And there's a formula for calculating conditional probability. Um, and what it is, is it's probability B in this little line, and basically what this is saying is B given A. So what we're told is that event A has already occurred, and we're trying to find the probability that event B happens as well. Okay? So probability of B given event A has happened. So this would be, okay, find the probability you win gold given you place in the top three is equal to the probability of both events occurring. So probability of gold and top three over the probability of just the given. So probability over top three. Okay. It looks a little bit complicated on the surface, but really if you can just remember this formula, it's pretty straightforward in how you actually use it, okay? Sometimes what you see is multiplication. You can multiply both sides by the probability of A. That's so what you end up with is a probability of A times a probability of B given A is equal to the probability of A and B. It's perfectly fine, just standard numeric multiplication. This is just a number. You can cross multiply and the statement will still be true. Okay, so the general form for conditional probability. Probably a probability of B given A is equal to the probability of A and B over probability of A.